We're gonna lay out a cone today. This is probably one of the easiest projects you can do. You could use these on birdhouses, copper stills, whatever kind of project you're doing, a copper cupola for your house. It really has no HVAC use whatsoever, but for different projects, finials, whatever you're working on. I make them for birdhouses all the time. Our cone is gonna be eight inches in diameter and eight inches high. The first thing that we wanna do is we want to draw our quadrant out and we want to do that with the radius of four because we have eight so we're going to draw out our quadrant then we want to bisect our quadrant and then we want to develop our points so we're going to start here draw a point draw a point draw a point and draw a point that is all the layout we need so to get the diameter of the circle we need to lay out on the metal, we're going to triangulate and use this distance. So all we have to do is take a divider and take this distance. So now that we have that distance, we want to take our piece of metal. We want to find our center point. And we want to scribe our circle. You should center punch this. So now we have our circle. We want to draw a line to the outside of the circle. Ha! Ah, sensor rings! Where did you get those? Under your bed. Unacceptable. Your cone is too young. Get up. Now what we want to do is we want to get our spacing. We want to start from our line and we're going to put down 12 spaces. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then you want to draw a line to your last space. Then we want to add a seam. Then alternatively, what you could do is, if you wanted to do your rivet lines, solid rivets or however you're going to put this together, solder, whatever, this is nine. So let's just say we did a rivet at uh, three, yeah, let's come in an inch and a half. And six. And then if you wanted to, you can split this, 3 sixteenths. And if you want, I mean, you could do a half and then just split it on the quarter. And that would be our rivet holes. So we could pre-drill the rivet holes if we wanted to. Or you could do a groove seam, however you want to do it. So now we want to cut out our circle. Ronnie, don't. Ronnie, I am not ready. Oh. You're ready. Oh. Don't. Ronnie. Yeah. 
this is a lot better to do in copper because it's soft and more malleable. So now we want to cut our diameter. I do have a circle cutter, but I didn't want to move the camera over there. So that is our pattern. So these lines represent this circle. Now, if you had a really shallow cone, we would only have... What have you done to your cone? Nothing. No, turn it out. But because this is so steep, it's a very wide opening. So we're bringing a lot of material together. So we're gonna do this as a dodecagon. We're just gonna bend the 12 spaces. I'm not gonna roll it. It'll look a little more decorative if you do it that way. And then when you're done, you could roll a hem on it, whatever you wanna do. Uh, but let's move over to the break and we'll bend it up. What's with the head? <laughs> so I'm gonna do this in the box and pan break just cause it gives me a little more space to work with. I've put a vice grip on the leaf of my brake to keep it out a little bit so that I don't have to keep coming back and forth with the leaf. So it'll just automatically bend for me. So we're gonna do this again as a dodecagon. I'm probably not even saying that right. It looks a little more decorative. Especially when you're doing a birdhouse or something. You could do this on an anvil, a blowhorn stake. There's a bunch of different ways that are good for forming this. And you want to keep the break into your apex or you're going to deform the cone. And it's going to become a pain in the ass later. So there you have your cone. And you gotta work at them a little. Like I said before, this is very hard to do in galvanized. And as you can see, your rivet holes will line up there. You could pre-drill them. And that's how you make a cone. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.